I have four different scriptures that uh, I want to talk to you today about. Uh, Ephesians, the second chapter, the tenth verse. Romans, the eighth chapter, the twenty-eighth verse. First Peter, the second chapter, the ninth verse. Hebrews, the sixteenth chapter, and the ninth verse. And they all in the King James Version. Ephesians 2.10 tells us, For we are his workmanship, mm -hmm. created in Christ Jesus for good works, yes. which God hath before ordained or God prepared beforehand that we shall walk in them. Amen. Romans, the 8th chapter, the 28th verse reads, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God. Mm -hmm. To them who are called according to his purpose. Yes. First Peter, second chapter, the ninth verse. But ye are a chosen generation, uh -huh. Uh -huh. a royal priesthood, yeah. uh -huh. a holy nation, yeah. a peculiar people. Or God's special possession. Yes. That ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Uh -huh. Proverbs, the 16th chapter, the ninth verse. A man's heart plans his way. But God directs or orders his steps. There is a purpose for everyone's life. We should live by God's purpose for our lives, but we don't. We tell God our plans and our purpose for our own life. We tell God who are we, who we going to marry and how many children we are going to have, but we don't wait on God. Right. We tell God how talented we are and how we going to make it in our lives. Yeah. By giving a name for ourselves. Mm -hmm. We want a good husband, mm -hmm. but we are not a good wife. Mm -hmm. We want a good wife, but we are not a good husband. Mm -hmm. We want children, but we are not good parents. Mm -hmm. We move too soon. We don't wait on God. Mm -hmm. It's a process. God works through steps, and he always prepares us for his purpose, not ours. So we may go through a lot of bumps and a lot of bruises, but we shall come out as pure gold. Know that God is preparing you. Uh -huh. I want to talk about this morning. He's preparing you, or make it personal, he's preparing me. Right. Steps. Not step. Mm -hmm. He's preparing you. Steps, not steps. All right, all right. Steps with an S, not step. Okay. Sometimes the storms of our lives can be so difficult. And we ask God, why me? Why am I going through this? Lord, please take this bitter cup away. Why? Why, Lord, why me? Why I'm going through this divorce? Why I'm going through uh, this heartbreak? Why I'm going through so many things in my life, Lord? Why you just deliver me? We find ourselves going through the storms, or shall I say, a lot of stuff in our lives. That brings me to the first point. Because he's preparing you, God has to mold us, has to make us, has to shape us, has to refine us. So God is giving us a tune-up. He's preparing you. He has to take out some old and worn-out stuff and replace them with the purpose he has for us. Because we go through stuff, 
he has to take out some of the old stuff, like jealousy stuff, backbiting stuff, gossiping stuff, lying stuff, adultery stuff, fornication stuff, envy stuff, wickedness stuff, rebellious stuff, laziness stuff, meaningless stuff, all kinds of stuff that doesn't fit God's purpose for our lives. Then he replaces them with love. Love your neighbor as thyself. With joy. By walking with God, you will experience the fullness of joy. With peace. God says, peace I will give with you, give to you. Peace I will give to you. Peace I will leave to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. He also gives you patience. What you endure today will give you more endurance for tomorrow. He also gives you kindness and, and goodness. It is that with God, goodness leads to repentance. Faithfulness, which leads to trust. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lead not to your own understanding. With all our, with our, in all our ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Yeah, yeah, he gives you gentleness and meekness. Uh -huh. It is the key ingredient in unity and peace within the body of Christ. And last but not least, self-control. God gives us strength to control our sinful desires. He's tuning, up, he's tuning us up. He's giving us a tune-up. He's preparing us. Steps, not steps. Mm -hmm. It's a process. Yes, 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 yes. The next point that the growing pains can feel miserable. The pruning process is unpleasant, but it won't kill us. After the tune-up, he's pruning us so that we can produce productive or positive fruits and grow higher in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we pass the test the first time, and other times we simply take the test over and over until we get it right. Mm -hmm. We are not preparing during the good times in our life. We are prepared during the storms. Mm -hmm. We are not prepared on the mountaintop. We are prepared down in the valley. Mm. He's preparing us. Steps, not step. It's a process. Moses was not prepared in the palace. He was prepared on the backside of the Midian Desert. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was not prepared in the king's court. They were prepared in the fiery furnace. Peter was not prepared when he walked on water. He was prepared when he began to sink. Joseph was not prepared in his, wearing his coat of many colors. He was prepared in the pit. Yeah. Jesus did not prepare us while in the upper room. He prepared us on Calvary Cross. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Glory. Yes, yes. Our current situation should never limit us from reaching our true potential. We must turn our storms into the vehicles that urge our transformation. Everything we're going through is a preparation for what's about to happen in our life. The Lord has already given you a word, and that word is move. When we move, we bring forth the growth we desire. Tragedy hasn't stopped you. Heartbreaks didn't defeat you. Failures does not define who you are. Use this hard-earned wisdom to hold on to your purpose and build your future. He's preparing you. Yes, 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 steps, yes, yes, yes. not steps. Hallelujah. Family, I come into God's purpose. We have to go through some training in our lives. Yes. Remember, God is the ultimate teacher. He's training you. There's always a lesson hidden in your storm. Yes. Submit to his will and prepare for the blessings 
of the Lord. God is not preparing the blessing for you. He is preparing you for the blessing. All right, all right. Your eyes have not seen. Uh -huh. Your ears have not heard. Uh -huh. Neither have I entered the heart of men that the thing God has prepared for those who love him. Yes. The blessing is already ready. Yeah, uh -huh. The work has to be applied to you so you can handle it. Yeah. It's a process. Yeah. It takes steps, not steps, to handle the work of God. Work doesn't have to be applied to where you are going. It has to be applied to you so you can handle the work where you are going. Yeah. God, doesn't, God does it by steps. Not step. It's a process. Order my steps in your word. Lead me. Guide me every day. Send your anointing, Father, I pray. Mm -hmm. Order my steps in your word. Yeah. Teach me your will while I'm working. Help me to be still because the devil, he is busy. But I tell you, God is real. All of my steps in your word. Write on my tongue, Lord. Let your words and the fire be acceptable to you, Lord. Take charge of my thoughts, Lord, both day and night. All of my steps in your word. Wash my heart in your word. Show me how to walk in your word. Show me how to talk in your word. Provide me a brand new song to sing in your word, Lord. Order my steps in your word. Yes. He's preparing you. Uh -huh. Steps, not step. Your structure has to be different. Mm -hmm. Your order has to be different. Uh -huh. Steps, not step. Everything has to line up according to his will. To whom much is given, much is required. Uh -huh. You have to go through the process to handle it. Can you handle it? Yes, you can handle it, but can your children handle it? Yes, you can handle it, but can your spouse handle it? Yes, you can handle it, but can the right kind of friends handle it where you are going? He's preparing you. Yes. Steps, not step. Yes, you can handle the process. God says he has chosen you. You have not chosen him, but he has chosen you. You are his chosen generation. You are his royal priesthood. You are his possession. You belong to God, not the world. He has brought you out of darkness into his marvelous light. He's preparing you steps, not step. Everything that you are going through, God knows everything. If you are one of those that's been in the storm too long, just know that God is still preparing you. you got to get it right. Everything you lost, God is saving it up just for you. All you have to do is you got to be willing. Are you willing to increase your faith? Are you willing to increase your truth, the trust in him? Are you willing? He said if you're willing, he said he'll give it back. Double for your trouble. He'll give it back everything you lost. He'll give it back everything that got away. He's preparing you. All he wants you to do just to grow up. All he wants you to do is just to stand up. All he wants you to do is just to get up. All he wants you to do is just to fix up. All he wants you to do is to build up. All he wants you to do is develop up. All he wants you to do is to come up. Yes, yes. I got the blessing held up for you. That's what he's saying. Amen. He's preparing you. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard what God has in store for you. Amen. Tell yourself, this time, I'm going all the way. Tell yourself this time uh -huh. I'm going to get it right. Yes, yes, yes. Tell yourself this time. Uh -huh. This time. Yes, yes, yes. Say he's preparing you. He's pruning you. Mm -hmm. He's training you. Mm -hmm. He's toning you. Yes. He's delivering you. Yes. He's transforming you. Uh -huh. He's changing you. Yeah. He's developing you up. Yes, he's yes, building yes, you yes. up. He's changing you. Uh -huh. He's developing you. Yeah. in your steps. Yeah. In his word. Yeah. Changing you. Uh -huh. This time, oh, yeah. you got to get it right. Oh, yeah. This time, uh -huh. you got to go all the way. He said, get ready, get ready, get ready for his blessing uh -huh. for you. Yes. He's training you up. Uh -huh. He's developing.
developing you up. Mm -hmm. He's preparing you. Yes. Steps, not step. Mm -hmm. If you desire prayer today, God can reveal whatever it is keeping you yes. for the purpose that God has for you. Mm -hmm. You want to come right now if you desire prayer. He's just preparing you. Yes, he You're going through the storms. Uh -huh. He's just tuning you up. Yes, yes, He's just growing you up. Yes. He's just building you up. Yes. He's fixing you up. Yes. For the, the preparation he yes. has for your life. That's right. That's right. That's God right. is preparing you. Oh, yes, yes. You know, it's not a step. Uh -huh. It takes steps. It's a process. Mm -hmm. Steps. Not step. He's preparing you. Yes, he is. Amen. 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 Am